Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here, as you guys can see up on the screen. Today, I want to talk a little bit about Mullen Automotive Incorporated. This is ticker symbol M-U-L-N. And yeah, today was not such a great day for Mullen, but there are still plenty of stories um, and, and some pretty significant news and a big rumor that we're going to be talking about in this one. But yes, um, being down 6.08%, not necessarily uh, great today. Kind of a weird day because they opened pretty far down, but then actually were green for a significant chunk of the day um, before going right back to red and again um, just not closing the day very strong um, but you know being up 0.72% after hours we'll see how they carry this momentum uh, going into tomorrow and the rest of the week um, some of this may have had to do a little bit not all of it with um, the fact that uh Tesla kind of tanked towards the end of the day as, as the news that Elon Musk was buying Twitter came out um, Tesla kind of started going down and obviously when Tesla goes down it's going to take a lot of the other EV makers with it um, now not to this extent you know I mean this thing was down what almost 11% from its uh, you know intraday high to its intraday low um, but it does at least tell us some of the story so We'll be going over all the latest from Mullen in this video today. Definitely drop a like if you do enjoy it. I would appreciate that a ton. Subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content. Uh, and of course, as always, there's not going to be any financial advice in this video. I'm not telling you guys to buy anything. I'm not telling you guys to sell anything. Nothing like that. Just uh, going over the latest and giving some of my thoughts and opinions. With that being said... Let's get right into this one. So uh, not a great day for Mullen, as I said, especially when we start looking at the broader market. Uh, you know, Dow Jones was up 0.7%. Uh, the S&P was up 0.57. NASDAQ was up over a full point, uh, And the Russell was up 0.7. So the whole market was green. You know, oh, nothing too insanely green. It's not like we had 2, 3, 4% days or anything like that. But, um, you know, the major indices were, were green. They were doing well. Most stocks were up today. And Mullen was not only you know, underperforming them. Not only were they red, but they were pretty significantly red. So that's a little bit rough. Um, but we did have some some stuff to talk about. We had um, this, the fact that the Buzz EV News uh, featured Mullen Automotive in what is the Mullen 5 and what's next for the EV maker Q&A. Uh, the Buzz recently featured a roundtable Q&A interview with members of Mullen's executive team discussing key topics such as company distinction, consumer feedback, vehicle technology, batteries, and vehicle range, which is, um, you know, really, really cool. So you guys should definitely check that out if you want to get some more uh, kind of information about all that. I'm not really going to cover that in this video, um, but you know, there were a couple articles written about the fact that just, hey, that this even happened uh, and it's kind of cool, you know, just more press, more people talking about Mullen, getting more answers from the team. Um, you know, even if it's good answers, bad answers, whatever, it's still publicity, getting the name out there more and more. Um, obviously, Mullen is kind of a not so known company. It's a very, very popular stock right now, but um, you know, compared to things like Tesla and Neo, you know, the average person maybe doesn't know as much about Mullen, especially since you know, there's, it's not like you see Mullen cars out on the road when you're driving by or anything like that just yet. Um, but, but yeah, this is cool that they're out there doing more stuff. They're doing press. They're talking to people um, and getting some things written up about them, which is cool. We also had this from InvestorPlace.com. Mullen Automotive is a worthwhile risky bet. Significant growth plans and expectation uh, of a positive battery report bodes well for the company. So, hey, I thought this was cool too. Again, this isn't an article I necessarily want to go too deep into, but maybe you guys should check it out. You know, like I said, it's over on InvestorPlace if you want to. But um, again, the fact that Mullen is not having, uh, you know, great days. Hey, they're down 6% today. They're down 21% the last five days, which is crazy. Um, and they're down 76% year to date. But still, there's people saying out there that, hey, maybe it's a worthwhile risky bet. Now, they are saying it's a risky bet. Do not get that twisted. It is very, very risky. This thing has gone lower than this. It can go lower than this. It can go lower than it's even ever gone before. So there is uh, definitely a ton of risk here. You know, Mullen is a, a forward looking company. It is a risky bet for the future. Um, but even though it keeps going down and down and down and down for some people, as it gets cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, you know, that makes the risk to reward ratio potentially more enticing. It makes it potentially make more sense to them as an investment. Um, so, you know, at least some people are out there saying now, despite all the bad news, despite all the, you know, kind of rough days and weeks and months or whatever we've had in the stock market recently and with Mullen stock that, hey, this might be a worthwhile investment at this time, which is kind of cool. And maybe it, maybe it means we're getting closer and closer to a bottom. Maybe it means things are going to start turning around. Maybe, um, you know, we're going to go on some crazy run here soon. Who knows? Uh, we then had uh, Mullen Stock subreddit or just Mullen subreddit. Uh, the, one of the top posts of the day was the fact that the people that spend countless hours trying to convince us to sell our beautiful shares are not invested in this company. They actually want it to fail so they can profit. 
profit it's obvious so stop wasting your time and uh yeah you know there's so many people out there like one there is generally good analysis and like just because somebody's saying that mullen sucks you should sell mullen or mullen's bad or whatever doesn't necessarily mean that they're biased or that you shouldn't listen to them or whatever even if you love mullen even if you think mullen's going to the moon you should still, you should still hear the other side you should hear what they're saying you should hear why they're saying what they're saying um but at the same time yes there is a ton of people out there with ulterior motives or is a ton of people out there with biases or is a ton of people out there um, with incentive for the stock to go down or to be shorted or all that other stuff. So you got to keep in mind, you got to take everything with a grain of salt. All the positive stuff, take that with a grain of salt. The negative stuff too, you know, come to your own conclusions, do your own research, all that stuff, all the usual kind of advice that people give, uh, I think makes a lot of sense and is very uh, applicable to this situation as well. Um, but yeah, just because you read something, uh, I don't know, you want to find stuff from multiple sources, you want to think logically in your own head, like, hey, does that make sense? Does that make sense to me? Does that sound right? Um, and, and yeah, I don't know. Don't take everything at face value, I guess, is, is just kind of good general advice. But people talking about what the excuse today is. They're saying this is starting to hurt. Down 47%. This guy's long with a few thousand shares and um, you know he's hurt and he's doing bad. But again, this is what comes to the territory. When you're investing in individual stocks, let alone a small market cap EV company that um, you know is very, very early stages in, in kind of their whole business plan and stuff, it's going to be very risky. It's going to be volatile. And when you look at the graph of Mullen, even historically, this is what it's always been. It's always been volatile. You know, um, this thing is very, 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 very up and down. When you look at, um, you know, like the last five years, you'll see it is up and down all the time. In the last year, it's up and down all the time. Like you have these big drops. Now, yes, we are down almost 88% in the past 365 days, and that's you know maybe abnormally rough or or maybe pretty crazy. But um, yes, when you are trying to hit the home run play, when you're trying to go for that mega, mega, mega high reward, you know, the 500%, the 1000%, whatever, this is, this is part of that. But it also, you know, you haven't lost until you sell and, and stuff like that. So let's see what happens. But um, yeah, I mean, there's obviously a lot of people, you know, feeling a lot of pain and a lot of people who are down significant amounts of money. Um, and, and yeah, I definitely feel for them. And hey, we'll see if this thing's going to turn around or not. But um, I mean, yeah, like I said, that's kind of at least a potential option or a potential downside of what you sign up for when you're going for individual stocks and risky stocks and stuff like that, especially very, very forward looking plays. But if you think this is a two, three, five, ten, whatever year play, um, then what's happening right now shouldn't really matter that much because you haven't given the story a chance to play out yet. Uh, we also had this, you know, people talking about how it went up 20% in after hours last Monday, so don't be fooled. Um, but uh, so far, that is not the case today. Yes, we are up in the after hours. We're not up 20% or anything like that. I think the day that it went up 20% after hours uh, was the day that Tesla I, had their earnings report. Maybe not. Maybe there's something else that happened. But I know one of the days Tesla had a good earnings report, and that kind of helped Mullen go up as well. Um, I would definitely not say that going up 20% after hours is a good thing to bank on or a good thing to be holding on to, but whatever. Um, you know, people talking about Warren seem like there's plenty of investors willing to gobble those up or am I missing something um you know so we'll have to see as more and more Warrens come out uh you know see how that kind of affects share price and everything um we did have this which I thought was really really cool from Twitter at Mullen USA gear up the wheels are turning um and you know a, a look into a production facility of some kind which looks really really cool obviously putting together some vans and stuff like that they're actually sharing a screenshot um you know of them doing some work behind the scenes which I think is something that people are very very excited about and people have been wanting to see for a while and I think is a very very good sign because if we can get start getting some things produced we can start getting some things moving you know that could be a very very big day for Mullen obviously the company and the stock and then finally the last big thing I want to talk about today these Amazon rumors just will not go away and there's more and more things pointing in that direction. Obviously, Jeff Bezos is not, um, you know, what he once was at Amazon anymore. Obviously, you know, he's taken a, a much smaller position over the past couple of years, but we did have this on Twitter. Apparently, the fact that David Mishery, obviously the CEO of Mullen Automotive and Mullen Automotive have both followed Jeff Bezos. Um, I, I'm assuming this is in, within the last couple of days. I don't know for sure, um, but more and more people are saying that, hey, would it make sense? Could it make sense? Could it be that the Fortune 500 500 company that Mullen Automotive is going to be partnering up with could be Amazon? I don't know. There's a bunch of different hints all over the place. There's a bunch of different rumors. There's a bunch of different things. A lot of things point to Amazon. A lot of things point in other different directions. But I thought this was interesting and wanted to at least get it out to you guys and you know make of it what you will. But that is pretty much it for this video today. Definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about MULN. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe to up to date on my latest content. Hopefully, catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.